look alike mm -hmm. up in the hill Juniper. country yeah causing some problems cedar fever season our pollen count is high today and there's a good chance it's going to be high throughout the week especially when we get those northerly winds so today we're still dealing with some northerly winds early on because that concentration of all the juniper trees is in the hill country so we don't deal with the cedar pollen quite like our friends up in Austin and San Antonio however when we do have those northerly winds it brings that pollen down into our area so you may be noticing that if you notice your symptoms kind of peaking when we have northerly winds so that's going to be coming up Friday and then again Tuesday uh, then it could be related to the the cedar pollen here's a look at our forecast rainfall so we do have two cold fronts that's what is shifting our wind right so we've got the wind out of the northwest on Friday behind a cold front that moves through then we've got another front Monday into Tuesday that shifts the wind out of the northwest on Tuesday now this first front has a better opportunity for rain we're talking numerous uh, to wide almost widespread rain across the entire coastal bend that's going to come really between 11 a.m. and say 5 or 11 p.m. and 5 a.m. So we've got numerous showers during that time. Intensity of the rain also could be higher. And so right up to midnight, rain is very isolated and very light. After midnight, that's when we start to see higher rainfall totals across the region. Isolated areas around a half an inch to an inch of rain. Most of us closer to a quarter of an inch. So that comes with this cold front that's going to move through, right? This front increasing our moisture. This is paused at 10 p.m. It's going to continue to push through, but then bring in some drier air into the weekend. So we're talking sunshine as we head into Friday afternoon and then even into your Saturday. But cloud coverage increases Sunday as a warm front lifts back to the north. That's what's going to boost our temperatures into Monday as well as those southerly winds are enhanced ahead of the cold front. Behind the cold front, notice these white lines. Those are isobars. They're going to get really tight or too much tighter than this first front that's going to pass through. And essentially what's going to happen is, well, our winds will pick up. So we've got those strong northwest winds expected on Tuesday. And then we see drier conditions into next week. So overall, uh, up and down temperatures, our dew points are also going to go up and down. So we've got a drop in our dew point stays at that comfortable level through the weekend, then Monday boost our, in our humidity before we fall into the very dry level on Tuesday. In your seven day forecast, our best chance of rain does come tonight. Uh, stormy early Friday, but should move out about the time you're getting ready to head out the door. Uh, on Monday, there's a very low chance of rain. Houston actually has the better shot of rain. I think we'll mostly just be cloudy and we'll stay windy into your Tuesday. Bye.